point where everything that we know and understand about physics is no longer valid. I think one of the reasons black holes are so enigmatic, right, is that in a way it's quite problematic even for astrophysicists and physicists to reconcile these sort of two different views. So on the one hand, a black hole is a sort of mathematical entity, it's a solution to Einstein's equations of a point mass, of a very compact dense mass that warps space-time very, very dramatically, almost to the point of a puncture. And the black hole is defined as having a region, an event horizon, which is the point of no return even for light, and that this region encases a singularity, a point where all the laws, known laws of physics actually break down. And what we don't really have is a detailed quantum understanding of the structure of this really small scale thing. So that you know remains to be understood. It's, um, it's an open problem that lots of people are working on. And then there's the view of a black hole as the end product of the life cycle of a star. So I think in a way, right, so that's an astrophysical object. It has mass, it's the leftover after the implosion of a big star. And so in a way, the enigma is how do you reconcile these two views? And these two views are problematic, particularly because they encase the singularity, the sort of point where everything that we know and understand about physics is no longer valid.